On September 11, 2001, the United States was attacked by the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda. 19 militants, a part of this group, hijacked four planes striking New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. American Airlines Flight 11, that came from Boston, crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. At this moment, most people thought it was an accident. 17 minutes after the first plane hit, the second plane, American Airlines Flight 175, crashed into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. That's when people knew that this was no accident. The United States of America was under attack. Both towers were heavily damaged and burst into flames. Office workers that were trapped were seen jumping out of the building. American Airlines Flight 77, the third plane, hit the southwest side of the Pentagon, starting a fire on that side of the building. The plane took off from Dulles Airport near Washington, D.C. Just moments later, the Federal Aviation Authority ordered a nationwide ground stop. The South Tower of the World Trade Center collapsed. United Airlines Flight 93 crashed near Shanksville, Pennsylvania after its passengers tried to overpower the terrorists. The North Tower collapsed, filling the streets of downtown Manhattan with smoke and rubble. President Bush addressed the nation from the Oval Office, stating that changes will be made to the United States foreign policy. On September 14, 2001, Bush went to Manhattan to support the rescue workers, who were trying to find survivors. While speaking, one of the workers said he couldn't hear the president, and the president responds with, I can hear you! <laughs> Nearly 3,000 people have died on that day, 2,750 people in New York, 400 who were police officers and firefighters who had lost their lives after rushing into the scene and into the towers, 184 at the Pentagon, 40 in Pennsylvania, all 19 terrorists also died. Let's take a moment of silence to honor the people who died that day. 